Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to April. Uh, this is an April reading for you if you're a Scorpio sun or you have Scorpio as your rising sign. I suggest if you are a Scorpio sun, you also watch the video for your rising sign because it'll give you another perspective of the month ahead and how the energies are facilitating certain parts of your experience. So Scorpio, this month kicks off with a lot of fire in your house of sovereignty. You've got the volume and the passion and the energy turned up when it comes to what you need to do to feel free, stand on your own two feet, feel healthy, sovereign, individuated. Um, so over the last two weeks, you probably have felt felt that fire and conceptually you were getting clearer and clearer and clearer on some sort of dream or goal or um, life experience that you wanted to ex to have. That was Mercury conjuncting Neptune last week. Now that Mercury has now moved into Aries, I would say that there's a lot of conversation happening about these fiery new passions that you have regarding what that sovereignty could actually look like and mean for you. So um, the 3rd of uh, April, that's when Mercury moved into Aries. So I would say that there was at least things that became super conscious to you at that point. Over the next week, ex I expect that you'll probably have a lot of conversations with uh, the people in your world or, or even with yourself about what sovereignty really means for you. Um, and this fiery awareness that Mercury is bringing to you is actually going to help catalyze and activate certain seeds, the seed of the Aries new moon that's happening on the 11th. So um, there are certain seeds in nature that simply will not, they're not viable until they're activated through fire. It's a its a nature's way of making sure that there's um, all the resources necessary for new seeds and that forests can be re, like replenished after some sort of fire or destruction. So um, this seed that is being activated for you is absolutely a seed of sovereignty. And um, know that once the seed is planted, the universe is supporting the nurturing of that seed because Venus, the sun, and Mercury are moving into Taurus. So let's talk about what that means. On the, from the 14th to the 19th, we have Venus, which is what we open up to, what we are able to receive, the sun, what we are conscious of, and Mercury, the the communicative like integration of all of that awareness. All of that energy is moving through your house of relationships. So you're going to experience a seed of sovereignty that's going to give you a somatic sense of what relationships should really feel like. Um, it's, it's Taurus. So the ways that you feel relationships should really feel like that is what's going to nourish and support the new seeds of sovereignty. It's kind of interesting that the feeling of how you feel relationship with yourself and others should be, that's what's going to nourish your seeds of sovereignty. That's what's going to cause those seeds to flourish and grow. So they're absolutely entwined, relationship and sovereignty. And the somatic sense of that. I created a very long, um, detailed and deep video about the energy of April and what this energy is preparing us for as a collective. We are leaning, we're heading toward more feminine ways of leadership, which is more present, more somatic, more felt, more body led. And so this is a, a way that you are, you're going to um, get that wisdom. You're going to be like feeling, this is what relationships should feel like. This is the way, this is what feels best and right. This is what my body feels is aligned in an integrity. So next um, there is going to be Mars's movement into cancer and everyone, everyone's going to be feeling this shift. It's going to be, for some people, it's going to be a little bit more uh, of a chaotic movement. Um, for you, there's going to be a huge emotional, experiential shift on what you believe is true. You're going to feel emotionally what's actually true for you, and it's going to hit, it's going to land. Your, philo your philosophy about your guiding principle is actually going to become more felt 
for you, more somatic, and you're going to be behaving from that. So by the 23rd, expect that some sort of behaviors are going to actually be taking place based on this new awareness that you have that is your guiding principle. And finally, by the end of the month, we have the full moon in Scorpio. This full moon is showing up for you in your first house, and I'm calling this full moon the moon of somatic boundaries. And your somatic boundaries are going to be made aware to you through how you identify yourself. It's very like about like who you are, what you what you're about, how you show up, how you identify yourself. Um, and you know those things because you feel it. It's not conceptual. You know, you feel the truth. You feel where those boundaries are. You feel what you need to say yes and no to because you feel it. And that does help you to become more aware of, of who you are. So um, I'm gonna pull one Oracle card for you, Scorpio. Um, just another perspective to guide your month ahead. And this is the card I've got for you. It's the river. So I'm going to find the description and then I will hold that card up so you can see it. The river is 34. The river, okay. The stream, the flow, the current. There is a reason so many rituals of change and rebirth take place in the river. It is forgiveness embodied in physical form. Without asking anything in return, the river washes away what is no longer necessary, smoothing over the sharp edges and accepting all our mistakes and grievances. Once we step in, we are no longer in control. The river carries us further down the stream of transformation than we plan to go. Its waters have a special gift for reflecting back to us a new and dreamlike vision. Once the tears have passed, we see ourselves as we have happened before, with a little more lightness, grace, and fluidity. Keep in mind, the you that stands within the river is the real you, full of deep emotion and potential, nothing to hide and nothing to judge. May you drink in the sight of your true self. You can only resist the river for so long. Eventually, it will pull you toward change. So you may as well get in with style and grace. The river is emotion. When you are in its current, you will know it by the bursting forth of tears, laughter, song, despair. All the emotions flow in this current. Wow. Really, really beautiful energy for you, Scorpio. I feel... I couldn't have said it better. That's such a... Thank you. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, beautiful card. Congratulations on anything that you're making change about in your life. Yeah, change is happening inevitably, so may as well jump in with grace and flair, as the card said. Um, I have a couple of announcements. I will be starting uh, in uh, April 20th. I'm teaching a somatic approach to astrology. I'm leading a class to learn about your personal astrology, learn about your natal chart, learn about the archetypes, learn about all of this like beautiful cosmic wisdom from your own life experiences, from your own sensation of what is true for you, from your own body wisdom. And I'm doing this during Taurus season because there's no time like Taurus to feel somatically what we know is true. And if you know what's true, if you know yourself, if you, un if you know your own you know, cosmic blueprint, you're essentially, you know, you, you are a blueprint to divinity. And if you know yourself, you can know divinity even more clearly. So I am, um, I know there's lots of different ways to learn astrology. You can learn it philosophically. You can learn it intellectually. You can read books. You can do all these things. Um, but I know that there's a segment of the population that would love to learn kinesthetically. And that's the way I learned astrology. And so I'm sharing that with with anyone who's interested. Um, so be uh, on the lookout for an announcement of that. Um, if you're very interested, leave a comment and I'll make sure I contact you. Um, 
Also, I'm doing personal readings right now. I have a few every week available. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description box. And as usual, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Share these videos with people that you feel they could relate to. Um, I, I created a very in-depth video for April. Be sure to watch that video to find out more about how we are all being prepared for a certain way of feminine leadership. And these videos are a part of that. I'm, I feel very compelled to share another perspective on astrology from, from my personal, you know, feminine presence and my feminine way of leading my life. And so if this resonates with you, help me spread the word. Um, absolutely. A lot of this is dependent on organic, beautiful growth that when there are good things that serve, they actually reach uh, whoever they're meant to reach. And so you can be a part of that by sharing this video. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.